Hello guys, and welcome to an Ulta haul. So this is a pretty small haul, not gonna lie, but I picked up some fragrance items. I picked up two Le Monde Gourmand perfumes, which I'm really excited to try. And I also picked up a couple um, lipstick options. So I'm gonna try those on as well and some skincare items. So let's just get started. I'm gonna start with lipstick stuff because I really wanna try this on. So I picked up a lip liner, a lipstick and a lip balm. I'll start with the lip balm from Jack Black. This is a repurchase for me. I love, love, love the Jack Black lip balms. This is the natural mint one. I feel like the mint one just makes me feel like I have fresh breath. So I'll always pick up this one. And then I've been all over wine red lipstick TikTok. I don't know if you guys have. Kai wants to get on his couch. Anyways, I was saying I have been all over wine red lipstick TikTok. There's this one creator who creates so many videos testing out darker red, brown lipsticks, and I've just been obsessed. So I did pick up two items that she recommends. I picked up the NYX Line Loud Lip Pencil in Rebel Kind. This is supposed to be like a deep brown, more like chocolate brown, not like a red brown, which is really hard to find. It's more, typically what I have found with brown lipsticks is that it always leans like berry instead of leaning like more cool toned. It leans much more warm toned. So I'm really excited to try this. We're gonna try it on right now. And then I also picked up the Revlon Creme Lipstick in Rum Raisin. I'm so excited. This one has been around for decades at this point, I think. And I have yet to try it, so. And I had like 60 bucks in Ulta Points, so I used 30 of them. So technically these lip items were free. This is the lip liner and it is a like pencil, so you will have to sharpen it. So I'm gonna try the liner on first. It's uber creamy. That is the creamiest lip liner I think I've ever tried. And people say to blend it out with your fingers. This is so dark. I was not expecting it to be this dark. Okay, let's try out rum raisin in the middle. Oh, rum raisin's so pretty. Oh yeah, this is a vibe. It's washing me out so bad on the camera though. Okay, that's a little better. I put my ring light like to the side because for some reason I have no light over here, but I think it looks really cute. So I'm gonna keep it on for the rest of the video, but it's definitely darker than I expected. And I think Rum Raisin by itself wouldn't be this dark, obviously because this lip liner is so dark. So I think I could definitely use a lighter hand when applying it next time. Um, and do it on clean lips because I still had some like lip gloss residual from what I had on earlier. Next, we have the Le Monde Gourmand perfumes and they did come bubble wrapped, which I'm very thankful for. And they also came in their own little baggies just in case they leaked. So when I bought these, and actually I think still this sale is going on, Ulta was having a deal on fall fragrance. So I did get a deal on this one. I will put on the screen how much it was, but this is pumpkin creme. I was so excited to see this one. I saw Kathleen Lights talk about this on her fragrance TikTok, and so I just had to pick it up. Honestly, that's really the whole motivation. I love Kathleen, but this one smells so good. So let me read you the fragrance notes. This is in the fragrance family of Amber Gourmand, top notes of pumpkin spice, mid notes of nutmeg and frothed milk, and base notes of musk and sandalwood. Oh, this one smells so good. I actually do get a little bit of like a lactonic milk scent to it, which if you don't like that, I wouldn't get this because it feels like when it dries down, it's going to smell a lot like that. But it definitely has like some spice in there and I feel like the musk will really stick with you. I'm not getting a ton of sandalwood. It's not very like fresh. It is much more like gourmand than anything else and I'm so excited. I'm definitely putting this, spoiler alert, in my fall Project Use It Up because this is gonna be perfect for white pumpkin and chai. I am obsessed. This one is already like so good. And the second perfume that I got is Tash de Cafe. I hope I'm saying that right. And this is a collab with Ethan Gaskill. He is a TikToker. I don't follow him, but I saw that this was a coffee scent and I really wanted to pick it up. So here is this one up close and personal. It's like a gray liquid. Oh, and the pumpkin creme is like brownie orange. So Tosh de Cafe is in the fragrance family of Amber Woody with top notes of black pepper, saffron, dark chocolate, and blank page accord. Mid notes of rose absolute, espresso, tonka, ink accord, and milk froth. And base notes of cedarwood, vanilla, patchouli, warm musk, salted amber, and 
Orcanox. I don't know what Orcanox is, but I did look it up and it says it's like an animal-like musk scent. So this one is not what I thought at all. I really should have read the description because I thought this was going to be like a coffee scent and it is not. So if you guys know a coffee scent that you love that's a fragrance, like please leave it down below because I'm looking for a coffee perfume. But this one is still really good. It is definitely like a woodsy fragrance. And I think I'm going to give this to my boyfriend Ryan because it smells honestly amazing. It smells like what I want my boyfriend to smell like, okay? <laughs> like year round, this is not, I wouldn't say this is only a fall scent. I think this would be perfect year round. It smells so good. I don't get a single espresso note. And now maybe that would show up like on the dry down after you've worn it for a couple of hours, but I really get the pepper on first sniff, I get pepper, 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 and a little bit of cedar wood. And then as it's drying down, I was getting a lot more patchouli, um, some saffron. I'm not getting any chocolate or espresso or vanilla. I'm just getting those notes. Sorry if you hear Kai over here, he's crying for attention. So I'm just petting his head. Anyways, this one, really good. Definitely more of a masculine scent. So if you're searching for that, this is really good. Or if you're searching for a woodsy scent this is also really good and i feel like this one would also pair really well with wicked vanilla woods from bath and body works that would be a really good pair for this one so that's tosh de cafe and that is the last fragrance that i picked up next i picked up one makeup item from elf this is the power grip primer plus niacinamide now i love the regular power grip primer from them so i wanted to pick up the niacinamide one just for a little extra hydration in the fall and winter and i know that i love it so it's definitely gonna be good. And then a repurchase for me, this is the Bioma Creamy Jelly Cleanser. I love this as my morning gentle cleanser. It is really good. Just leaves my skin feeling fresh and clean and awake in the mornings and I love this. So definitely recommend it. You can also get it at Target. And then I ran out of my acid that I had been using. So I picked up this one from Good Molecules. This is the Mandelic Acid Serum. It is a gentle exfoliating serum with AHA to help maintain a clear, smooth and even skin texture. So I've tried Good Molecules here and there in the past and I've had really good luck with them. So I'm excited to try this. I like using an acid about once or twice a week in my rotation. I will do an acid, a retinol, and then take two, break, two days for a break and then pretty much repeat that. So I'm excited to try this. Everything from Good Molecules is pretty cost efficient. So I really enjoy that from this brand and everything I've tried has been pretty good. So I'm excited to try this. And then I picked up two little minis. I am going on a trip to Chicago next weekend for the Chicago Marathon. My boyfriend is running in it. And um, I just wanted to pick up two little minis. So I picked up the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion and the Foaming Facial Cleanser. So I've tried both of these before. I really like them. I haven't had this cleanser in quite a minute and I really enjoyed it. So I'm happy to have this back in my collection. But yeah, just wanted to pick those two up to be able to travel with. And that's everything for my little fall Ulta haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of my lip combo and then also of the fragrances that I picked up down below. But that's everything for today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.